how to add markers to CapCut PC. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you step by step how we can add markers easily in CapCut. Now, it is actually a very simple thing to do, yet very powerful because if you're editing a huge project, it's actually going to help you quite a lot. You can think of them as notes and, you know, you can use them in so many different ways. So anyways, how do we actually do this? So first, you will need to import some sort of... Um, some sort of a uh, video here to just add i'm just going to use this one as an example and i'm just going to drag it to the timeline so what we need to do is just go ahead first and zoom in a little bit and then you will need to locate where you want to place the marker so let's say we want to place it over here so just go ahead and place your cursor where you want the marker to be now what you need to do is just go ahead and click on this icon little this icon right here from uh the this panel so just go ahead and click on add marker and you can see we added a marker uh right away and this is pretty much how to do it now there is also another way to do it which is a lot easier and i use this one actually instead is just again go ahead and fix your cursor wherever you want the marker to be and hit the letter m on your keyboard keyboard for marker so m for marker and you, you you're going to be able to add a marker easily again like that now there are going to be more stuff that we can actually do with the markers themselves first is we can actually go in and click on them and it's going to take us there exactly uh right on top of them once you do that you can just go ahead and hit m again and once you do that you will be able to change the name for it you can change the time for it but you pretty much should have uh, the time uh, as you want it to be already but we can change the name for it so uh, let's just name it test mark one and we can also change the markers uh, color so we can just go ahead and make it red green purple or even yellow and same goes for this other one to change it you can just go ahead and click on it and then hit the letter m and it's just going to open up this tab again for us and where we can just name it test mark to and we are just going to color it purple and for this you can just move it right or left like so if you actually wanted to change it uh, and not only that but the cursor itself when you actually like move it around if there's a marker it's actually going to stop de stop dead in the middle while you're moving it it's like a magnet sort of so that's also a cool thing now there are also more stuff that we can do with markers like jump from one to another so we can actually do something like this or that. And to know how to do so, we can just go to shortcuts on the top right here. Click on that. And then we can just scroll down a little bit. Uh, and then we will find add marker. It should be letter M. Maybe you have it different. If you do, then this is pretty much how to add your marker. And then we also have add marker with new color, which is alt M. Go to next marker, shift M. Go to previous marker, alt shift M. Um, so this is how I just did it earlier. So this is pretty much all there is to it when it comes to markers. This is going to be a great way for you to get starting with editing huge projects. So hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.